Hello Aquarius, this is your X rating for the 10th through the 16th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And let's see what kind of relationship you guys had. Hmm. One that was very defensive, I feel. I feel like you guys probably were in a relationship where each one of you at times could be very defensive and closed off, possibly um, not even speaking to the other one, blocking each other, that sort of thing. Okay. Hmm. Let's see how you view the relationship. You thought it was going somewhere. You thought that the person that you were dealing with was um, somebody that you really could commit to. And they could commit to you. Like this was something that was really, you felt like going somewhere here. Earth energy there. Let's see how they view the relationship. Hmm. Same way. Same way. Maybe you guys were butting heads, but um, both of you had the right idea about the connection, actually. Um, I feel like you were great counterparts here. Maybe both of you wanted to be in control of the relationship or, you know, steer the relationship where you wanted it to go. Hmm. Let's see what your current situation is. Hmm, okay. I think you are at a point where you are um, emotionally stable, but you're not really trying to make any moves. I feel like, you know, you kind of want somebody to come to you. You know, that's a level of control. But, um, but I don't know what happened between you guys here. But at this point, I feel like you kind you like you're at a point where you're really not trying to be that vocal about things. Um, you know how you feel about this person. But I feel like currently you have your back turned to this situation. Of course, you guys are exes. <clears throat> Maybe there's not any hard feelings between the two of you. Maybe you are just not talking right now because both of you kind of want to um be the head of the relationship let's see what's going on with the other person right now hmm i feel like they're trying to figure out what's actually going on they're not sure what it is that you're doing they're wondering if you are um, possibly interested in someone else here. A lot of uncertainty here going on with this person. Let's see how you view them. What do you think about your ex right now? They feel the same way or you feel the same way about them. I'm sorry. Um, you think that they also are moving on, possibly interested in somebody else, looking to date, looking for someone else here. How do they see you? Let's see what they think about you. That you guys are meant to be, that you're supposed to be together. Um, you've probably known this person for a very long time, maybe even shared several lifetimes together. Uh, there is a very, there's a very strong connection here between you two. Very strong. You love each other. You care for each other. You care about each other even. Even if you're not together, you guys still care deeply for each other, I feel. Hmm. They also feel like you've turned your back on what you guys share. 
like you're not, you know, you, you don't care about it anymore or it's not important to you. Although you still have, you know, this level of care for each other, even though you're not together, I feel. And maybe each of you does not know that, you know, each of you feels the same way, that you still care about each other. <clears throat> Let's see how you feel about getting back together. Hmm. I get the, I get the feeling that um, you're willing to fight for this. You're willing to fight for this is what I'm getting. And the King of Cups is looking right down at this Six of Cups here. I think you're willing to fight for this person. That's very chivalrous. I like that. Hmm. I mean, there's nothing bad here. So maybe it's just like a misunderstanding. Maybe both of you guys are just very strong. And I see that you're strong here. Very grounded. Very supportive. Very stable. Very good looking. So, hmm. Let's see <clears throat> how your ex feels about getting back together. They're thinking about it, for sure. They are definitely thinking about it. Again, you know, they see you guys as having this strong bond. Like, it cannot be cut. Regardless of whether you're together or not, like, you'll always have that level of care for each other. They are definitely thinking about it. I feel like um, they're trying to figure out, you know, how do you guys move forward from here? How to gain um, a harmonic balance back into this situation here? How can you move forward and, you know, with each other? And, you know brave those stormy seas out there you know because no relationship is going to be all calm roses daisies you know all the time hmm sometimes you have to you know you have to be able to to endure and go through something um in order to be truly solid and strong, but it's actually having, you know, being able to maneuver through those tough situations that makes you so much stronger, you know? So let's see how you guys can um, bring this thing back together here. I think puts like put to bed all of the past issues. They're not doing you any good. Thinking about those issues, bringing up things that the other one did, um, bringing up things that, um, like that are just not for the benefit of this relationship. Even things that are like minimal that maybe you guys probably make a big deal out of because, mm, excuse me, I get the feeling that a lot of this is probably something very minute. Very minute here that you guys are probably broken up over or not talking to each other over here. Okay. Not arguing over little things. Picking your battles is what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's see what the other person can do. Hmm. I think it's to be confident enough, you know, to say something here because, you know, the pages, like I said, they, they really don't speak. They just kind of observe and plan and, you know, and observe some more. They don't really do a whole lot of interacting. I think this is the other person just needing to be confident enough 
to actually reach out. Reach out and say what it is that they really want to say here and, you know, stop observing. Let's do something. Spend some time here actually doing something. Not arguing over the small things. Picking your battles, you guys. Let's see what the potential outcome is here. I feel like somebody definitely will come in and speak for sure um, and speak the truth. Say what's really on their mind. There's an eagerness here for sure. And I think once one of you opens up, you know, the floodgates are going to open and everything is going to be everything, okay? Yes. So I definitely see that the energy, you know, is shifting in a way where you guys will eventually communicate with each other here. All right. So let's see what the romance angel has to say for my Aquarius friends. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Again, picking your battles. Telling somebody you love them. Telling somebody you care about them. Hey, yeah, I was wrong. Maybe I should not have said that. Yeah. All right. So my Aquarius friends, that's what I have for you guys. And I will speak with you soon.